So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys, I'm doing quite possibly the best Aurelion farm in this game. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So do you guys need those large Aureliums to level up those weapons and max them out? Well today I have you covered. Now credit given where credit is due, I saw this spot on another channel. That channel belonged to a dude called Sires, I believe his name is pronounced. I'll link his channel down below, do go check him out and show him some love. The way I do this is um, different to the way he does it, but either or guys, the spot still belongs to him as far as I'm aware. Now all I'm using to do this guys is... Uh, the enhanced banner of javelin as well as the band for ring to increase the item discovery rate the footage you're seeing on screen now guys is me doing this to two or three minutes and you've seen i got 16 large aureliums in that time you can boost your discovery rate much much higher than what i'm doing and i'll showcase to you guys in a second i can do that but all this farm consists of guys is you planting and anchor between realms then you simply just run down these steps right here and i'll show you the location in a quick second and where it is use your javelin Boom, wait for that flash and take these guys out. Bye bye. Now you can, I've got items that will increase damage in regards to these, like the Slinger's Ring and there's a Pendant as well. Um, which I'll show you in a quick second. They will help you slightly in regards to damage, uh, but they're not really needed. I mean, you can still take them out quite efficiently, I'm not gonna lie. And both of these items are discovered early on too. I think it's the Warrior's Pendant I'm using. Have a, well, I haven't got it on, but hey, there it is right there. Warrior's Claw, sorry, and the, and the Slinger's Ring. Now, you'll see that it doesn't make much of a difference. It probably makes it slightly quicker, but it's not necessary in regards to how efficient you can get this down. What, I had like a bit of 65, 70 damage. There we go. That guy got hit hurt harder. And then they're dead. Simple. Run up and reset. Now, in regards to item discovery rate, I'll show you what you can do to increase this. Uh, have you been playing the game, guys? Have you seen those fake loot? You go and pick it up and then try and get eaten by a big old Mimic Moth. And these Mimic Moths, if you do suck the souls out of their body using this lantern, just like so, um, there's a chance that they do drop these runes right here, which are extremely rare, by the way. I'm not going to lie. I had to actually trade for mine on my Discord. I've killed... I think almost all of these Mimic Moths, never seen one of these drop, they're called a Nilak. And as you can see, if you put these on a shield, it increases that item discovery rate. So if you've got a shield leveled up, you can put three of these on a shield, giving you a massive chance of increasing uh, the odds of you getting these large Duralium. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you've got these Nilaks. I mean, you may not have these, you may not have a leveled up weapon. And that's why I believe the way I'm doing this, guys, is way more efficient than anyone else's. Because again, these are items, this right here, and that right there is all I'm using again in three minutes. Probably three minutes tops, I got 16 of these large Duralium. So that's pr quite good in my opinion, it really is. So where this farm is, guys, is within the Empyrean right here. So I'm just going to walk to this vestige and I'll show you at the end where you get the javelin and the bountiful ring. It is within this area, but I recorded it a few days ago now. I can't remember exactly where it is. So yeah, I'll show you that in a quick second. But from here, guys, you run up these uh, steps. And what I will say is there's a church in front of you where you have to get into. To get into the church, guys, you need to. I'll show you where you have to go quickly. I'll probably get capped in my ass because the dudes around here are no joke. So you need to come up this way. So in here, guys, what you do is you go into the Umbra Ram and you go up into there, just like so. And when you're up in that room up there, you'll take a left out of the room and you'll have to clear the passage. It's quite easy, guys, I'm not going to lie. And then once you get into that short upstairs of the church, on the right-hand side, there is a chest. In that chest is a church key. Then, guys, you'd simply just come up to this big door, run past all the ads, don't worry about them. You ain't hitting me. I'm too quick for you, motherfucker. Then you just open this door and run in here. Simple as that. Now, when you're in here, guys, you just want to run straight forward. Run straight forward and you want to plant the anchor between realms. Just like so. And just like so. So come up here and plant it. Just like so. And then, guys, you've got to the spot where you can use and abuse this farm. Simple as that. And again, all I'm using is the bountiful ring as well as the enhanced javelin. Again, both of these are found in this vicinity so hey pull out your javelin load it up until you see the flash and pop it back simple as that and again you probably got quicker meat you probably don't even need the, the 
the ring or well you probably want the ring but you probably don't need the javelin and what that means is guys you can kill these quicker make it even more efficient hey not bad but yeah it's it, it really is that simple guys it really is that simple so do what you gotta do and it's a i mean look again i killed them in the vicinity of this video taking my time explaining i've still got a further three or four large uh lorelium so yes do what you gotta do guys now on screen now guys you've seen the location of the bounty for ring as well as the enhanced banner javelin of assault and i may as well showcase you guys where you get the warrior's claw and the slinger's ring from too so yes you're seeing them on screen now remember guys to increase that item discovery rate even further do your best and up your advantages against those mimic moths when you come up against them. You can use certain items like the lucky paws and the charm paws. I mean, these are what I'd save for the mimic moths because at the end of the day, guys, these are wasted in regards to trying to farm this spot right here because every time you reset at that anchor between realms, you wipe that buff. So again, if you want to try and get an increased item discovery rate, which will affect you and make this more efficient in the longer run, you do want to try and get those Neelak runes from those Mimic Moths. And if I were you, I'd use a Charm Paws and the Lucky Paws there. Again, though, it is extremely rare. These are extremely rare. I've done this countless times and I haven't seen these, but just do what you got to do. But there we have it guys. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.